Okay, so now we've had Climate Gate, where once again we've had global cooling, where they eliminated the Middle Ages warm period, okay? We've had Glacial Gate. Glacial Gate, what happens in Glacial Gate? Oh, the glacier's going to disappear, not based on science, okay? Then we turn around and we have what? We have the sea levels rising. Now the UN has to retract it. The IPCC with the Climate Gate were, were lying. They're lying to you. But what's your, what's your President Hussein tell you? And who funds him? Was Goldman Sachs his biggest contributor, or do you not follow the money? Or maybe you don't care. So anyway, Banksters in Charge. This is, hey, is it the Banksters in Charge? Document shows Goldman Sachs made deals that destroyed AIG and was secretly bailed out by the Fed under the direction of Geithner. That's right. Wasn't Geithner the head of your New York Fed, the head big Fed? Okay, once again, globalist bankers, this is all set up by the Rothschilds, but isn't Geithner the same Treasury Secretary who didn't pay his taxes? Oh my gosh, but he takes time to take a photo shoot down in Texas where supposedly, and this is looking like a false flag inside job, and that is the guy who flies the plane into the building. Turns out that the space he rents from is from a guy from level three who does remote control. Find out about level three. I used to be in defense systems. This thing is sad, but Geithner takes a photo, photo op, photo op, oh my God, you know. Anyway, so this is worse than Geithner's backdoor bailout to Wall Street because it's extreme shows favoritism to Sachs, that's Goldman Sachs, okay? He will not be punished because he is a team player for the banks, and they are in control. That's from Bloomberg. Don't believe me. Read Bloomberg, okay? That was February 23rd. Oh, rendition. Poland, here we go. Human rights groups say that they have obtained flight records and government reports confirming the CIA airplanes transported detainees to secret prisons in the country. Well, here's a little piece. In case you don't think the United States of America is turning into a police state, here's Dr. Paul Craig Roberts. He was number two at the Treasury, okay, back in the days of Reagan. Here's what he tells you about police states. Well, get ready for the crackdown. The U.S. is now officially known as a police state. At least that's according to Paul Craig Roberts. He's a columnist and a former Reagan administration official, and he joins me live from Panama City, Florida. Paul, thanks so much for joining me. So you've said that U.S. President Obama is continuing Bush-era policies and that the United States is essentially a police state. Can you elaborate on that, please? Uh, well, yes. So uh, We have this case of um, Afia uh, Siddiqui, who is an American citizen who was kidnapped and held in the Bagram military uh, base in Afghanistan for five years, secretly tortured, uh, denied all her constitutional rights. The whole thing was totally outside all known American law. Um, and now we've had the uh, Dennis Blair, the head of national intelligence, announce that the United States government has a list of Americans that it will assassinate abroad. So the government has announced it's going to kill its own citizens without arrest, without trial, without conviction of a capital crime. It's just going to shoot them down somewhere. Well, this, these two things together are the definition of a uh, police state. And uh, we have uh, a number of uh, constitutional scholars in, law, in our most distinguished law schools who have said that these proposals are not only uh, are totally illegal under American law, but constitute war crimes under the Geneva Conventions. And what else, how else would you define a police state? And so, you know, I think that's really interesting, Mr. Roberts. I mean, especially because President Obama has spoken out against so many of these things, including torture, and, you know, he's repeatedly said that he wants to close down Guantanamo Bay. So why do you think nothing has changed and he's continuing these Bush-era policies then? Uh, that's a very good question. There's no difference so far between his administration and the Bush-Cheney uh, regime. And so what we see is that there is a, there's been a coup, a power grab. The, the law means nothing to the government. It operates totally outside the law with contempt of the law. And what's most amazing is that Dennis Blair, this is not my opinion, he went to the United States Congress and told one of the most important committees, the Committee on Intelligence, that the United States government now has a list of Americans that it will murder. <laughs> well, what, what, how does this differ from Joseph Stalin? And so, I mean, how is this all possible? How can the United States just simply disregard international law and what should be done to stop this? I, I don't know how it's possible. I, I don't know how uh, 
Joseph Stalin was able to murder all the heroes of the Bolshevik Revolution. I don't know how Hitler was able to take over Germany and completely flush the law, but that's what's happening here. And, and we, we see, we have these uh, statements from these uh, um, distinguished American legal scholars that uh, this is not only completely uh, against the Geneva Conventions and the Fifth Amendment of the United States Constitution, which requires a due process. But if you announce you're just going to murder people, there's no due process. And so I don't know what's going on. I don't understand how this happens or why the American people are so insouciant and inattentive. They just sit and take it. I don't understand why the Congress, when they were told this, didn't order this guy's arrest. I mean, we have a criminal, the head of national intelligence, who comes to the Congress and says we're going to murder American citizens. Nothing happens. Well, Mr. Nothing. Roberts, I, I want to thank you so much. You're clearly very passionate about this. According to Mr. Roberts, the United States turning into a police state. So once again, what's a police state? When they tell you they're going to kill American citizens without trial, without jury, okay? And it's not okay. No, it's not. Torture's not okay. Will you wake up out there? Wiretapping people without warrants is not okay. Detaining people indefinitely, not okay. Okay? Re rendition flights, taking people to other countries and torturing them, not okay. And your hope and change guy, President Hussein, is doing the same thing Bush did. That's not okay. Oh, by the way, I'm sure, because I'm saying this, they're going to say I'm not okay. But anyway, study shows that the chemical at atrazine, okay, applied to food crops is responsible for a, number, a large number of birth defects. It's still designated as safe by the EPA. They care about you so much. Here, i got to give you this one, along, along with the EPA. Environmentalist groups petitioned the EPA to retract fluoride pesticide tolerances on food. So guess what? They're using fluoride to kill pesticides, but it's okay for you to eat. Remember that. You Sharon viewers, you put it in your water. You're moronic. This is what they put in the concentration camps in Germany. Okay, two national environmental organizations, Environmental Working Group and Beyond Pesticides, joined today with the Florida Action Network in challenging the safety of new food tolerances issued by the EPA for fluoride-based pesticide, sulfuryl fluoride. Do you remember what the number one ingredient in rat poison was up until the 30s? Is it the stuff Sharonites put in their water? That's okay. How are your children doing, Sharonites? How's your cancer rate, Sharonites? It gets me going. The challenge was directed to at the maximum level limits for fluoride-based pesticides in foods. Now, once again, we're using it as pesticide. You gotta love that, Sharonites. It gets better. This is the warning you see on toothpaste. Warning, do not swallow. Use only a pea-sized amount for children under six. If you accidentally swallow more than used for brushing, seek professional help or contact the poison control center immediately. You put it in your water. You guys gotta wake up, and gals too. And especially for the children, will you stop poisoning them, please? Okay, here we go. Dow AgriScience, which is expanding its use of pesticide sulfuryl fluoride, trade name if you want to know was perfume to fumigate food processing facilities and storage areas. Dow has never conducted crucial safety tests on fluoride residues, yet scientific studies point to serious health risks from ingesting even small amounts. It gets better. According to the Fluoride Action Network, okay, researcher Chris Nayef, it isn't just powdered eggs that will have the dangerous levels of fluoride allowed. All processed foods will be allowed 70 parts per million, okay? That includes everything from breakfast cereal to hamburger helper cake mix. Wheat flour is allowed 125 parts per million. For comparison, the maximum level of fluoride allowed in drinking water is four parts per million. Did you hear me? You Sharonites, you put it in your water. You're poisoning yourself, okay? For consumption, the maximum level, once again, is 0.4, okay? The natural level of fluoride in mother's milk, in case you want to know, is 0.008. Now, once again, the Sharon Board of Health still puts the crap in your water, and what do they tell people with infants? Yeah, where's the stinking Board of Health now? You ought to listen to this show, and you ought to do some research. Oh, it irks me, okay. We are very concerned that the total fluoride exposure is not safe for children, said Richard Wiles, Senior Vice President of the Environmental Working Group. Hey, but Sharon Board of Health doesn't care. No, they don't care. 
I don't care about you. Okay, it gets better. Jay Fielding from Beyond Pesticides as this is yet another example of the EPA pesticide division protecting the bottom line of Dow AgroSciences rather than the health of the American public. Am I surprised? Who said you could take, you know, as the FDA said, oh, Vioxx is great for you. Yeah, 